All right, it's Thursday morning and about 10, five to nine. And I've got to be at the foundry at 10 to uh, recolor one of the uh, crazy horses, bronze. And uh, so that's the day, what I'm doing today. It is so smoky in the valley right now from fires around the area from Idaho and from California, from Montana, that you can't even see the mountains today. So anyway, I'll pick this up at the foundry, which is about an hour's drive from here. Time to play with some clay. What Adriana is doing right now is uh, coloring the base with uh, acid. Uh, she has to heat up the bronze to put the acid on, and that's uh, how you color a bronze in layers of acid. Is that not right, Adriana? Uh, this is titanium dioxide. I'm not really sure if this, the white actually qualifies as an acid. Oh, okay. But, uh, but you are right, the rest of them are. This one kind of sits on the surface, so it doesn't bind like an acid would. Okay. Well, that's why she's coloring it, and I'm not. <laughs> well, as you can see, the lake leggings are starting to turn white. That'll be the base color for all the colors on top of it. All right, she's uh, putting color into the uh, the leggings. I'm going to have a kind of a greenish color on the top part of the uh, legging. That's not an unusual color. A lot of uh, warriors uh, color their outfits. I don't know exactly what crazy horse would have colored his life, but I'm guessing. And also, I gotta have something that catches the eye, and that uh, green looks good, and it's gonna have a tan bottom part of the leg. So it works into the uh, tan, the green. And then the bottom part of the cuff of the pants will be red. This thing is starting to come together now. So Adriana is just about done coloring this bronze. We're just going to do the loin loincloth now, which is going to be a dark blue. I would normally go with a red loincloth, but I think the red would stand out way too much. I want to keep it subdued like the rest of the clothing right now. for about two hours now just under two hours that's not bad right oh, yeah, we're cooking. first then again we still have the shield and the knife sheet to do Really complicated, but they're 
based on actual items taken. Go ahead and turn and look at these deals. Uh, they're taken from him in 1876 when they captured him. And that's his shield. She's done an amazing job on that. One cloth of dynamite. Alright, we're just going to do a few more things. Uh, the hair and uh, the hawk feather in his head. On his head and not in his head. <laughs> Alright, Adrian is just putting the final touches on it now. Once she gets it done, We'll let it cool off for about a half hour or so and then take it up to the uh, base room and get a base on it. And then I'm going to take it home and photograph it. I think it turns really, turned out really good. A lot better than I thought it was going to. Well, that's uh, the finished uh, bronze. I'm really... It has to seal it, and that's going to change the color a little. It's going to brighten some and lighten other colors. But I'm really happy the way this turned out. I'm, I like the color selection I made. Subdued and not any part of it loud and bright. and a subscribe and ring the little bell also don't forget I have instructional videos available now online the link below this video shows you a link to a review of all nine videos later everybody good night